Good morning everyone, Wayne Bolden here at the Speed King Channel. It is Wednesday hump day. We're like 10 days out from the Breeders' Cup. And of course, tip sheets will be available for both Breeders' Cup day, Friday and Saturday. Email us at speedking24 at yahoo.com. They're 20 bucks each. A great, great way to support us for sure. Remember to turn your closed captions on. Well, we're knee deep into the Breeders' Cup uh, races and, and the different things we're doing here, uh, putting out content. But I guess we should look at some races that's coming up this weekend, right? None bigger than the Mother Goose over there at Belmont at Aqueduct for sure. And um, hey, it, the girls are in town. It's a grade two. It's 250000 a mile in the eight. Three-year-olds. Now. Winning colors ain't in this race. Very, very small race uh, uh, filled for sure. It's only six in here. And, I mean, there's no world beaters, okay, in here. And I got a problem in the race because one of the horses that I always uh, liked, but, you know, defining purpose. And Ken McPeak, who I think is seriously underrated. I mean, he's one of the guys that I really, really do uh, enjoy uh, handicapping his horses and wagering on his horses and defining purpose by cross traffic uh, has four wins from 11 starts two uh, two wins this year out of seven but it doesn't look like she's in great great shape she was beaten in a um, in the stake race at the parks on September 23rd uh, the cotillion stakes and uh, by a colt I believe and she just doesn't seem like she's coming in in this race off of her best, best race. Um, but she is the only graded one winner in the race if you go back down to the Ashland at Keeneland back in April. But since then, she uh, did win a grade three uh, at Indiana, the Indiana Oaks at the Horseshoe, of course. She's third in the Alabama. And I guess we have to give her the edge, okay? Uh, I don't have a problem doing that in this race because it is McPeak. He has a way of getting uh, young horses uh, to, to bounce back and most of all fillies. He's just awesome with young horses and I'm a big Kenny McPeak guy. So let me go ahead and put uh, Defining Purpose uh, on top. Even though she was beaten, um, you know, by a colt in uh, Cotillion Stakes over there at uh, the parks on the 23rd of September. That being said, I'm going to try to even out finish a colt in this race to Chad Brown horse with uh, Zajir. Zajir uh, is a very nice filly, right? Um, four wins from eight starts. You can't knock that. That's 50%. She's three for four this year. And this three year old gal is by Nightcrest. That's right. The Derby went in Nightcrest. Now, she of course broke her maiden, then she won an allowance race. And then most recently, she did win the 10-pin stakes over at Ellis Park. And then she ran uh, and won the overnight stakes, the Seneca stakes. Now, she's not, hasn't won a graded race, but they brought her along nicely, winning the allowance race, winning an overnight black type race, and then winning the Seneca, another overnight. So stepping into the grade two uh, is our first um, chance coming off of nice races to uh, get her first graded race. Now, she did run in the Alcibiade uh, last year as a two-year-old, ran third. She also ran in the Breeders' Cup Juvenile last year, and ran 14th. But she's a different horse as a three-year-old. And this is a nice stepping stone for Ajira. Um, again, Nycris and Bowers doing the training. You got the original anchor in the yards, Julian Leperu. Just having a little fun with Julian for sure. No, no disrespect to him. He's a good rider. So let's just have Egeria as our second pick. And of course, our third is going to be the horse that they all may have to be the Colt, trained by Chad Brown. You got the aggressive Irad in the yards, bred beautifully by Into Mischief. Grandsire is an um, empire maker. Three wins from seven starts, two of them being this year and two thirds. Uh, like I said, did outfinish uh, Defining Purpose, our top pick. Uh, back there in September 23rd over at the Parts of Catania States. Um, you know, uh, she is a grade three winner, the Mammoth, Mammoth Oaks, and of course, a, a, an overnight stake race. So, again, a very small field of fillies contested here. I'm going to go ahead and give the edge um, to uh, Defining Purpose. Azaria will be our, 
Algeria will be our second pick, and a Col uh, a Colt, the Chad Brown runner, will be our third pick for sure in here. You know, uh, you won't make a bunch of money. Uh, all these horses will be bet, all three of them, rightly so. So I figure five to two, two to one, seven to two in that range. So just pick one that you like and just play that one because it's a small field. There's not a bunch of monies in the verticals. It doesn't appear and uh, maybe horizontally. Let's see if Defining Purpose and my boy, Kenny McPeak, let's see if he can get this done in this year's Mother Goose. For sure. Hey, just a side note. Kenny McPeak has never won a Breeders' Cup race. Isn't that astonishing? I think he has like 10 seconds and 7 thirds, right? Hey, maybe we should keep an eye on Kenny McPeak in the Breeders' Cup. He has that horse VV horse in there. For sure. Just, I'm just saying. Stay classy, y'all. Real short video on the Mother Goose. Let's see if we can get to finding purpose. To define and get back in, in the winner's circle. McPeak and McPeak.